but uh, time goes so quickly. I hope you can hear me. I don't have my headphones and I don't have any cards and oh dear, I'm disorganised today. But hey, we can wing it because I'm still psychic. <laughs> so I hope you're all well. Uh, I'm here in Northwest Tasmania at home today and uh, I have been cleaning up because we got new furniture. So it's a bit heavy though, so I um, can't move everything. Husband will come home and say, what have you done? Um, yeah, so I am a spiritual healer, a psychic medium channel and uh, energy reader and I am live every Wednesday with the Spiritual Wisdom Hour. Hi Natasha, great to see you, I haven't seen you for a while. And uh, so I'm here every Wednesday talking about things that uh, concern people with what's happening in the world with their spiritual development and then I do readings from about half past twelve. Today I'll be uh, reading from an app on my phone. <laughs> uh, so but there's always a way, isn't there? Hi, Nicole. Great to see you. Hi, Lisa. Great to see you too. Um, it does, actually. Yes. We. Um, it's a long story, which I won't bother you with, but we ordered it in October last year and we received it yesterday or the day before. So it's taken that long to get here with COVID and everything. Really silly. But anyway, it's here now. Hi, Annabelle. Welcome. I hope you enjoy the Spiritual Wisdom Hour today. So I normally do a shuffle, shuffle card reading for everybody, but today I'm going to use an app on my phone, which is called Guiding Light Cards, and uh, pull three cards for people and that will work just as well. So I do um, a reading for the collective and then we usually do a meditation or I do a reading from one of my books because I can and then I do readings for people and uh, I can tune into people today and perhaps just do it a bit differently. Um, my website is victoriacochran.com. Please go on and have a look. I have a Facebook page, Psychic Communicator, psychic communication and spiritual healing and uh, I uh, work out of Wynyard but I go to Launceston once a month. My next date is the 17th of June. I put out a monthly newsletter which I'm halfway through and uh, if you would like to receive that you can come on to one of my pages. I also put the link on the spiritual events and directory um, or you can subscribe on my website. And what else? I have uh, four books for sale and um, I'm hoping to get out more, doing some inspirational speaking and talking. So if you have an online meditation group or an online group you'd like me to be part of, I would love to do that. Hi, Shanae. Um Hi, Annie. Yes, I get on to readings about half past 12. And hi, Shani. So collective reading for everybody. Um, I'm just doing three cards on my app. So the, car, the current energy is empathic overload. <laughs> oh, my goodness, there's so much going on. Um, and I've done a couple of channelings. I actually haven't channeled really for months and uh, haven't really meditated that much because when I meditate, then I get messages and I go, hold on, I've got to write that down. And uh, I do have a channelings blog called uh, victoriacochran44.com and I put two channelings up this morning. So I might uh, indulge myself and just read one to you because... It might explain. A friend of mine said just recently, she rang me and said, is it my imagination or are there so many people, like more than normal people, leaving the planet? And I went, hmm, good question. There seems to be. And it's not just with COVID. It's a lot of suicides and accidents and people with cancer and all sorts. And it seems to be a lot more people leaving the planet. And so 
I did do a channeling on that and a very interesting answer. Um, um, Shani says, I was living in Winyu too. Yes, you can have a reading soon. Hi, Christine, lovely to see you. So the answer was all about um, ascension and how the, the world is really now so many people are awakening to their own spiritual truths and starting to see um, between the veil of illusion and and how the wool's kind of being pulled over their eyes by governments and, and corporations and people who would like to just uh, keep all of the wealth and um, stuff to themselves. And so beyond all the fear mongering and everything, they're starting to see the truth of things. And so as people's consciousness rises um, and people are awakening, they leave people who aren't awakening behind. And the gap even gets bigger between the fourth and fifth and sixth dimensions. It's, it's just ever widening. And so, because I always say to people, um, you know, once you have, when you're when you're finding that people are dropping away and not resonating with you anymore, or, or a relationship ends and it's quite unpleasant, it's because you're growing and evolving and they're staying stuck. And I always tell people to actually hold their space. You can't go down again because you just get dragged down into the mire. It's really much better just to hold the space. And if they want to stay in your lives, they will start to uh, raise their vibrations and, and go with you. But if they don't, then they'll fall away. And it's the same with the third dimension on Earth now, that um, people are falling away and staying stuck in their stuff while um, souls other souls are moving up, including all of the babies being born now. They're being born into the fifth dimension straight away. Right. So it's uh, thank you for the stars, Natasha. Um, so they're all there. They're there already. My little granddaughter, 18 months, is seeing angels and her passed over grandparents and, and waving and smiling and feeling totally safe and is totally open to it they're little masters coming in and so uh, we have to rise to meet them don't we you know and if we don't then we drag them down and and uh, so that's why people are now um, choosing the death door and just going if they if they really can't handle that energy um, so the other channeling that I did was about uh, it was along those lines I just need to bring it up but, but it was actually probably the better one to read to you um, Gaia mother Gaia um, who came in this morning and um, because I've been sending energy flat out to the earth and um, what am I doing here? Um, I've been sending energy flat out to the earth um, and into the human collective consciousness and trying to negate the fear and that kind of thing. But she said, don't do that. It, it's it's not going to make any difference. Um, hi, Christine. I will be doing readings later, but please just let me do this um, general reading and um, spiel first because I feel it's important to update people with what the energy that's flying around. Um, hi, Tara. Um, thank you. Hi, Michelle. Yes, it is so hard when we have to leave behind family members. And actually, I've had a lot of people having to break ties with family members who just can't see um, the truth of the matter. And I think it's someone on here who um, whose grandma finally saw the truth of the matter once she passed over. <laughs> um, so it's it's really difficult, but we have to protect our energies and we have to keep rising, otherwise the earth does crumble. But um, Gaia came in this morning and uh, I met with the masters and Gaia, um, the spirit of Mother Earth, came in and she gave me this channeling and I'd really like to read it to you. Um, because it all goes, it actually, the three cards that have come up on my phone uh, the current energy, which is empathic overload. Um, 
limiting beliefs, which is at the crossroads. So a lot of people are at the crossroads now. Do I stay or do I go? You know, uh, do I leave this life or do I uh, let the past go and um, start to expand? Um, and the last one is new possibilities, freedom of choice. Um, and the masters will always say, as hard as it is to hear, death is always a choice. Um, even when there seems like there is no choice um, but to die, um, when the body's not, um, when the body is just completely, um, you know, not uh, viable, you know, some people choose to stay. So there's the free will goes with everything, being born, dying, um, everything that we do uh, is a choice and as part of our own free will. And that's hard for some people to hear, particularly when they lose loved ones and or children who leave incredibly early and or stillborn or anything like that. But um, the gift I have is to look into why that might have happened, and that and that often gives a lot of comfort. So I just want to read what Gaia brought in this morning, and I've put it up on my channeling's website. Um, liberty for all, that's what I'm calling in. Just always ask that it's uh, in the highest and best way and for people's highest and best. Otherwise, when you do the greater good thing, um, some people will, um, it won't come in the right way for them. So the greater good isn't always for individuals' highest and best. So always just make sure that you ask that. Um, so here we go. Gaia says, 3D Earth or third dimensional Earth is crumbling and dying under the weight of oppression, pollution, over farming, over fishing, over population, greed, ego and war. Earth has been raped and pillaged by man for centuries and now is the time for change. It is time for the Earth to return to its roots, so to speak, and to regain its sovereignty. All planets, including Earth, are timeless in nature. Their natural state is one of symbiosis of life and cyclic return. All is in order and works together to maintain its natural rhythm. When all is in balance, the status quo is maintained and all life is sustained. The crumbling of humanity in its 3D state cannot be saved, nor should any attempt be made to do so. Anyone who has not started to awaken or is continuing to resist the call of ascension will soon reach a point of no return and the choice will no longer be theirs. There has already been a mass exodus of souls returning to their spiritual form with many more to make the transition in the year ahead because the vibrational energies of ascension are increasing exponentially. Those who have chosen to follow Mother Earth into the new age will continue to work steadily to reconnect to the divine consciousness, to bridge the veil of illusion and to choose oneness over separation. As they do so, they are leaving 3D and 4D behind and creating a new paradigm of positivity, joy, acceptance and, the, and acceptance of differences and zero acceptance of third dimensional behaviour. As the veil lifts, the gap widens and the energies of ascension can be felt by everyone on earth. The old and new ages exist together. This part I really, really thought, oh wow, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Not side by side, but as one. The new age is now encompassing the ages of the past and bringing the whole world to the higher vibration of ascension. As it does so, it is engulfing the third dimensional world and entombing it. As a tree trunk grows new, outer rings uh, as it gets older, so it is with the energetic layers of Mother Earth. Just as the unconditional love of the source of creation encompasses the all, the higher dimensions of ascended consciousness are now leading humanity into the next phase of evolution. There are many light workers, way showers, awakened and awakening people on earth who are desperately sending love and healing to the third dimensional world. This is commendable but fruitless because the veil of illusion is still controlled heavily by unseen forces who feed off fear and the disempowerment of others. If you wish to save the world, send it to the ascended earth, the outer layer of divine consciousness that is engulfing and overtaking the dense energies of old. When you send unconditional love and golden light to the crystalline energies of Mother Earth's light body, you will also be helping awakening and ascending souls to do the same. I am Gaia. 
So that just came to me this morning and I'm like, oh, I didn't have breakfast till after nine o'clock because um, it, I just had to get that down. Um, that's right. Hi, Joe. Great to see you. Um, so that was the message that came in. And in that case, um, the cards that uh, I pulled for the collective were very relevant to that. So the first one, Empathic Overload, it is time for you to truly honour your highly sensitive nature. <clears throat> honour how you feel at all times and make a concerted effort to distance yourself from harsh energies that overwhelm you. And also just that means stay away from drama. I, I just watch cooking shows all the time and my TV won't connect to the internet sometimes, so I just watch cooking shows because I, I just can't stand listening to COVID, 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 and that's all it is, and the media just sensationalising things, and that's the epitome of just keeping everyone afraid. Um, this could be world events and news as well as anything and everyone around you that does not honour your sensitive nature. Give yourself permission to become more selective of what you choose to engage in. Because of your sensitive nature, um, well, because of your sensitive nature, you can feel things that others can't. You don't need to justify this to anyone. You don't need to explain it. You are also not a victim to it. You are simply a highly tuned antenna. It only becomes a problem when you deny this aspect of who you are. And so what I would say is do a lot of uh, self-care do a lot of meditation, use crystals, essential oils, grounding, asking your archangel guides for protection and uh, really keep a distance from people who are energy vampires or draining you. Hi, Michelle. Great to see you. Hi, Linda. Yeah, so um, Natasha says, I totally agree. I give up on news. It's fear-mongering at best and ultimately lowers us into a constant state of fear. And that's right. And so stay informed but not immersed. That's what I like to say. The second one is Crossroads. A new business adventure project or career is currently in the works for you. Fine. I hope that resonates with some people. But um, I also see humanity at the cross crossroads. <clears throat> Got all croaky for some reason. Um, and what limitations are we putting on ourselves to believe that we can make a difference and that by sending, uh, by sending love to ourselves and um, aligning to our highest uh, spiritual blueprint and um, be becoming more positive and more uh, connected to universal um, the, the abundance of the universe, then we actually make um, it happen for the rest of the world as well. So the limiting belief thing is a really hard thing to get over. <clears throat> Freedom of choice. Your choices are yours to make. Don't allow others to make choices for you. And I think that's what happens with a lot of people is that they worry about what other people think or uh, the judgment of others or allow... Um, their family or husband or whatever to override their choices. But at the end of the day, it's your life and you you are the only one who can live it. And so if life is feeling bleak and you feel like you have lost a part of who you are, then you may be giving other people permission to live your life for you. This is a form of people pleasing and it can be seen in every area of your life. It happens when you don't allow yourself to think and believe what you want to because the rest of the world might not agree. It happens when you say yes to something when you really want to say no. <clears throat> it happens when you want to feel a certain way about something but someone else tells you that you have no right to feel that way and you believe them. It is time for you to reclaim your life. You get to choose how you feel, what you do and what you believe. Honour that and take back your right to paint the picture of your dreams. Beautiful card. Hi, Julie from Toowoomba. Totally agree with this message. Thank you for sharing. Um, 
pleasure. Um, Natasha says, I forced hubby to watch if he must the headlines and change the channel to find just something he finds comical. Hi, Oni. Lovely to see you. So oh, there you go. And um, even though this book, The Alignment of the Universe, Messages from Other World, is about other worlds, it talks a lot about oneness and life, living life above ego. <clears throat> and I normally do um, meditation, but I'll just read a little bit of this today. I've gone really croaky. I just need to do a collective healing on the throat. I tend to go croaky when someone else is not in their truth. And because I'm talking to a lot of you, that might be a lot of you. <laughs> or, or being able to be heard or not feeling able to speak their truth. So let's just ground our energies. I'm just going to ask for a grounding. And Lord Melchizedek has been coming in to work with me and people who are working with me uh, a lot. So I see him there. I'm going to call... Lord Melchizedek in. Please give permission for this healing. If you don't want it, just um, say I, I don't give permission. You can still watch and listen. Um, but if you don't want the healing, that's perfectly fine. <coughs> Lord Melchizedek will know who's given permission and who hasn't. Um, and so I'm connecting to the Creator and asking for an unconditional love healing. For people who are finding it difficult to see the truth, be in their truth, speak the truth, stand in their power, uh, feel heard and listened to, and just clearing all of the trauma in our collective throat chakras um, of times when we haven't felt heard or been able to speak our truth. Thank you, Natasha. Um, and... Uh, and seeing golden light going in there now to clear all. And just ask for ties to be cut to the past that are holding us back. And I'm feeling that clearing. <clears throat> Still there a bit. Um, but also bringing us into a higher level of consciousness. And putting in creator's definition of truth. What it is to feel safe, to be in our own truth, to speak our truth and to be in our divine blueprint of who we truly are. I, I am presence, linking that down to the base chakra and grounding that in and connecting to the unconditional love of the creator in every soul aspect, every area of our life, every belief level, resolving on the history level, releasing on all others. And do you know what? A really good thing to do is just a bit of oming through the throat. Okay, we're just going to bring that beautiful creator energy, but seeing the divine consciousness or the Christ consciousness, um, which is the consciousness that links to the source energy through into our throat chakra. And just open your mouth. No one else can hear you. I can't hear you either. You can hear me, unfortunately. But here we go. Ah, and breathe in and breathe the beautiful gold light in to clear and again ah, and I see it connecting to our sister's background chakra as well breathe in the beautiful golden white light and again, oh. and just allow that energy. And I do feel clearer, still a little bit croaky, but I believe I can speak my truth. I know what it feels like to believe that I can speak my truth. I am heard. And then just bring in worthiness, unconditional love and connection to the all and what it is to deserve to be connected to the all. And some, some people don't feel that they deserve that. Um, and just asking Lord Melchizedek to integrate this healing through all our chakras, our bodies and cells and organs and aura, grounding into Mother Earth and bringing us to that higher energy. 
And if it's too strong, ask it to be backed off. Uh, ground yourself again. Have some water, make sure you're hydrated. And I uh, hope that has helped. It's certainly helped to my throat chakra. Um, so I'm just going to reopen my phone because that's where I've got the cards coming in. <clears throat> and I'm just going to pull a card about that now. Let me know how you went with that energy. Uh, crossroads, again, what's the message, underlying message of crossroads? If you shift your awareness into living your joy and allowing abundance to be a result of that joy, you invite in new energy that creates new opportunities. This card comes to you today to help you become aware that you have choices. The good news is the minute you choose something new, you will begin to see your options more clearly. So how did we go? Julie says that was beautiful. Um, that's good. Back. Um, okay. Excellent, and I'm just going to pull out a random um, message. There are three things that people from other planets would advise us to do. Respect yourself and respect your planet. Love without restraint and without condition. There is no room for judgment or condemnation where you, when you are coming from a place of love. Live life in the present moment. There is nothing else that exists or that is of any consequence. So that is uh, something that we talk about a lot. Um, but if we're talking about being in the truth, um, then we call upon Archangel Michael now to bring in his blue ray and feel our throat chakras, base chakra, and crown chakra with the blue ray to connect us to our own truth, so to our spiritual truth, and to the truth of the universe, that all is one and all is connected to the unconditional love of the creator. And in this energy, that's all there is. And so when we talk about the new energies, coming in to surround the old energies. That's what the creator's love does. It, it surrounds everything. And it's nothing to do with religion. It has no restrictions on it. And so we have no restrictions to bringing in new energy and giving people the opportunity to choose to raise their vibrations and to bring in new life and, and new hope into the planet. And I think that's what we need to do. And if I stay immersed in all of the conspiracy theories and things, that's fear-based as well. So I know there's a lot of that happening, but one ticks the other, doesn't it? It's like they're both ends of the spectrum of fear. So in the middle, I choose love in the middle <laughs> and I'm not going into either of them. Hard to do, need to work at it, not perfect at it, by no means. But doing little exercises like we've done today and by just meditating, bringing in the beautiful messages from the masters, we can do it and we do it together. Okay, so now I'll get on to readings. Hi, Laura Lou. Um, lovely to see you on today. And I will uh, get on to some readings now. As I said, I left all my cards in my room and the choice was either to travel 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back to get them or just to do online card readings and that's what I'm going to do. So I've got an app on my phone um, called Guiding Light Oracle Cards and there's a few different um, 
apps that you can get. And I haven't got the full versions because I don't want to pay. Um, I've got that many real cards. Um, and I tried to get tarot cards downloaded, but they they kind of want you to buy them. So um, I'm just going to do them from here. But these are Guiding Light Oracle Cards by Kelly T. Smith. And I really like them. Um, so here we go. So I'm just going to... I'm going to do random people today, so I do apologise if I don't get to you. I am um, very available for readings and healings, and I know it's just nice to get a message here. And, um, you know, I guess a lot of people go on to different people here on Spiritual Events and Directory, but sometimes, um, you know, there's more needed. And I'm not just a psychic, I'm a healer as well. So what I read, I also can can ask for healing on so you know please if you do like what I do at least go onto my website and check out what I can do for you Christine says can I ask your advice if your home is too cluttered does it make it hard for spirit to come through no I don't think so um, I think if your mind is cluttered it makes spirit uh, it makes it hard for spirit to come through. If your home is cluttered, um, and uh, that that can cause blockages, that can actually cause energy blockages. So it can be a spin-off from that, but it's more if your mind is cluttered and you can't connect to them. Spirit is there. They're there whether your house is cluttered or not. Um, it just depends on your connection and the energy that you're in so if decluttering makes you feel freer and more relaxed then definitely do that um, but uh, finding a, a little spot to meditate <clears throat> if it's a bit difficult isn't it if you live with a hoarder i know someone who lives with a hoarder and she she cleans for me next door, and uh, I have we have an Airbnb next door, and she calls her that she calls it her normal house, where it's not cluttered, and so she likes to just potter around in there occasionally, and that helps to clear her mind. So uh, if you live with someone who is a clutterer, that's a little bit tricky, but if you can find a space, your own space, that makes you feel relaxed. I hope that answers your question. You know. Um, that's probably the best thing to do. Uh, okay. So Annie Mac uh, would love a reading. So what I'm going to do is tune in to you today because I haven't got all my cards and just see what energy I can see. But when I'm doing this, I'm just clearing my energy. <clears throat> um, and just give a brief reading and then do an on do a an app card reading if I need to. Any anyway, Mac, I don't know if you did that um, meditation, but I see beautiful healing from your throat to your heart um, and connection there with healing green. There's a lot of emotion around your head and I see um, maybe a bit of tension with a male or some kind not heartbreak really just um some kind of tension his anger maybe um looks i'm not sure that it's a partner it looks more like a son or some kind of family member but uh you haven't really felt like you could speak your truth but that healing perhaps has helped you to do that and um we, there's a way of speaking truth isn't there you know we can say it bluntly or we can say it nicely but some people need blunt and some people need tough love so uh i, I feel that the, the the best thing for you Annie, is to get out of the emotion of it and take a step back and just really feel into what's right for you and then just and so even if it's if speaking your truth is speaking to yourself that's what you need to do and uh, then you can move forward 
because there seems to be a lot of his stuff coming onto you or you're the one worrying where he's just not taking responsibility. That's what I see. Um, and if I chose a card for you, oh, now it's not going to let me, it wants me to unlock it and buy it. So I've done my, I've done my quota of those ones. But if I asked your guide, stay true to who you are and uh, um, don't allow other people's um, energies to block yours. So uh, feedback on that would be great because, you know, it's always good to get feedback if it's not quite on the mark. Um, hi, Elizabeth. Lovely to see you. Um, I'll tune in to you. Goodness, do you have a bit of um, darker energy around you? It doesn't exactly look like depression, but it does look like anxiety, depression. It looks like anxiety and depression together um, and quite heavy on you. So a healing on that would be really good. Um, just grounding and... Um, yeah, getting some kind of Reiki or healing for you would be really helpful, I think, Elizabeth. Um, plus, I think you're an empath and you are, um, you know, pulling in other people's energies as well. So call on Archangel Michael just to give you a really good cleansing and clearing and to protect you from absorbing other people's energies. And I would be looking at crystals and um, oils and things to help you to stay more protected because you seem like you're sucking everything in. So that looks just like the weight of the world's on you, really. Um, hope that helps. Hi, Kathy. Um, any info or advice from my spirit team would be welcome. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Elizabeth says, happy to pay you. My heart is broken. Okay, well, yeah, you just do look like you've got terrible in energy on you. Um, please, I will send you a message afterwards and we can look at a healing because you definitely need one. Um, and I'm sorry to hear that, but know that we're here for you. Um where was I? Oh, Kathy. Looking to see who your spirit team is. I I look for the archangels more because uh, they are more reliable. Um, unless it's a family member who's with you, then that's absolutely wonderful. Well. Wow. You're very connected, um, Kathy. You have Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Sanada, Lady Nada, Mother Mary. You have that crew, um, Archangel Michael. Um, you have the Christ Consciousness crew, and they're part of the Cosmic Council as well. But you are really connecting to your higher self now and start it. So you're one of the ones who are awakening and starting to see your own spiritual truth. And um, they say that you're three quarters there. So there's a quarter of the apple or the orange that needs healing um, or perspective. Possibly not your perspective, but there's a perspective 
of the past or some area of your life that is not aligned with your truth and uh, with the truth that you're evolving into and they're there to help you with that. So um, it might be that you need to lead others to the truth. Um, we can lead people to the truth, but whether they accept it or not is up to them. But I think it's more to do with you trying to fit into that quarter rather than trying to allow that to evolve. Not sure exactly, but it's something like that. Um, so I hope that helps. Nicole says, I'm getting so many messages that I have a call and that I am an intuitive healer and I should acknowledge this gift. Do you see this from there? I can look. Yeah, you definitely have healing energy on you. Um, there's energy coming from your throat up from your right side. That is a blockage of some kind. <coughs> it's almost like you're not able to hear spirit or you're not listening or there's just a blockage in belief that you can do it. Um, I see green Raphael around you and with you so um, it's on your right side so whether you've had um, you know your upbringing has been quite religious or um, you've got people in your life who don't believe your path or that kind of thing you now need to clear that blockage because it's it, you need to bring in the assertive side of you to balance out um, your truth, so to actually block out <laughs> what other people are trying to tell you and just totally focus on your connection to Creator and to Raphael who will heal that for you and then bring in your gifts so that you can. So it, it's, it is about believing and that that really deep energy that I see on your right side um, is, you know, it's it's indoctrination, and so it's it now you know getting past that is what I think you need to concentrate on doing, Nicole. And then after that, when you've healed that, and just and and that's me again, self love, self acceptance. Um, your I am presence and shrugging off the worry about what other people think. And it takes a lot to do that. I've been through that journey myself. So you do need to, you know, and if I can help you with that, please just say. Um, but uh, that's the only blockage I can see. It's, it's, you're a bit like um, Kathy before, three quarters of the orange is there. So um, just bring that in. Um, Kylie says, my family that I, family and I don't see, my family that I don't see are creating horrible messages. How can I get through this? Mm. Nicole says, I have to hide my beliefs because my family is very religious. There you go. And that's what I'm seeing. So, okay. It might mean that you need to distance yourself from your family but you shouldn't have to hide your beliefs um leave them you know leave them and believe them and don't judge yourself for doing that and that's what i was doing i've done that <laughs> and then i got the judgment back but then i just like this is what i do uh, you know i don't go and have active conversations with people who don't believe it. I'll just I'll just say this is what I do, but I don't hide it, but I don't waste my energy either. So um, with uh, Kylie, they are keeping you uh, in that third dimension, like we were talking before, that they want to stay stuck in the drama and, you know, all of that. Block them completely. Just don't allow them to send those messages. 
send them love and that's a hard thing to do send them forgiveness sit in sit in a beautiful violet flame and just transmute all that energy that they're sending you and send it back to them as love don't send their toxic energy back to them send it up to the creator's light and uh, just meditate and send love and start to bring your light body in and start to bring your energy in and your positivity you don't have to apologize to them you know nicole you don't have to either it, it's now about standing in your truth speaking your truth standing in your i am and you'll be surprised that when you change your energy everybody else's change changes and that's what we're at now it's just about creating that layer isn't it of our truth to then override the lower toxic truths that are trying to bring us down and it's a hard thing to do but when we're on groups like this and when we're talking to people who understand and don't think that we're crazy and i tell you there's nothing you could tell me that i wouldn't believe ever um then it makes it easier to know that you're not alone you're welcome yeah you need to block them don't enter into con any conversations with them they're just they're not there you know and the, the higher you rise and the more you work on them on yourself they won't see you they won't see you and that's what's going to happen you know that's what's happening now you know we we make we create this beautiful world that is actually just squeezing out that other stuff yeah so Avalon hi Amy Avalon Amy I was wanting to know if you had a card for me I can't do cards today because I left them all in my room and there must be a reason for that but um, my brother passed away a year ago and now my mum passed away near his anniversary so just looking for some guidance if you would be able to help please thank you so sorry for your losses um i really am um wow that's uh that's tough isn't it let me just tune in avalon is it avi or avalon <laughs> um beautiful name avalon avi Okay, well, look, your mum and brother weren't twin flame, but they were definitely um, so, so close. Um, um, they were aspects of each other. Um, your mum's at peace. Your brother is... is actually your brother is the higher more highly evolved soul and is actually now helping your mum to evolve she's one of those souls i think who just couldn't cope with the energies and her body crumbled um and she will return she'll be a higher consciousness thanks to your brother and so your brother kind of left so that he could help her and others to do that and that's a wonderful thing he was here for a, a short time um but it was um he's a master so i just feel his his role is really important now in helping your mum to evolve and to be able to come back and withstand the energies um when she comes back again so um that is a beautiful beautiful thing so know that they're they're both at peace and they're now uh, working to bring um all your mother's uh, discordant energy uh, to a close so that she can evolve so i'm going to have to go soon um avalon lovely um Karen says, I have a dark family history. I'm separate from them, a dark family history, but they tripped me up and took collateral. My eldest child, it's been a sad journey. Would love a reading about this. I'm very intuitive now. 
I said that about your brother before, have I? At least I'm consistent. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Avalon. Um, blessings, you're welcome. Um, yeah, look, this, I don't know, some of you might not have heard, but if you go on to my um, blog, victoriacochran44.com, there's a channeling, there are two channelings. One is about why people are leaving the planet and the other one is about the new energies that are coming in and enveloping the old ones. And people are leaving the planet because they can't, um, they can't assimilate with the new energies. They're not evolved enough and they need to leave the planet to evolve. Um, and so that is, that is generally what's happening. Um, and people who are stuck in their stuff here are going to lose their family. They're going to lose people who are rising above that. And that's a really sad thing. But you cannot go down to meet them and continue to be absorbed by their toxic drama. You just can't do it. And so really it's sad, but you've got to leave that past behind. And perhaps people on here today who are going through that, you are breaking the link in that chain you know, you are the chain breakers and you are starting a new ancestral story that is a lot more positive. And uh, so you need to just let it go. Let them go. It's their choice. Um, yeah. So they took your eldest child. Mm. Was it a boy? Um, oh, girl. She, she'll come back. I'm getting lots of energy. Whoa, hold on. I just need to clean my space. Okay, well, that was intense. Um, it's pretty dark energy that they're under and I think they're actually not, I think they have darkness on them and that was trying to attack me. Um, so we've cleared that. She'll come back, she or he will come back, adult now, okay. Um, it's a real shame, um, a girl. Yeah, um, Yeah, I asked a boy, but then I did see a girl and I, then I might confuse myself. Um, yeah, the indoctrination might be too much, but I, I keep thinking that she is evolved. She's more evolved than they are, so eventually she will see that truth. Um, but, gee, that was really tough energy um, and it attacked me. So I'm just putting myself back in Creator's light and um, asking Archangel Michael to balance me out. And for anyone else who got attacked by that too, just doing the same for you guys. And I'll leave it there because that was a bit trippy. Um, so many blessings to all and uh, I'll see you next week. If you would like a healing with me, please contact me um, through this page or on my uh, regular page and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. When I can end this. Oh, there we go. Bye for now.